right folks, so welcome back to another video. I know it's been a few weeks since the last one. I do apologize. We're back with some more M140i content today. As I mentioned in the first drive video, I did say I was gonna take the car over to Santa Pod and get you guys some numbers and all the draggy figures, etc. I did do all of that, so I've got some raw clips that we're gonna play now in the video. Once we get back from that, I'm gonna show you some of the data and also give you guys an idea of the 100 to 200 times and all the stuff of where the car is currently. I'll be honest, it's not finished, even on 99 run map. But yeah, we'll discuss all of that once we get back from the Santa Pod clips. Right, folks, we're at Santa Pod in the 140i. I'm vlogging on the GoPro today. It's just a bit easier than lugging around the camera. Got various different angles going on and mounts. And yeah, we're going to see what this beast does today. We're on 99 run. So we're in basically 494 wheel horsepower mode today. No ethanol. There are a few cars with this as well. I haven't done any runs yet, but as you can see, massive queue. You can hear all sorts of the background. Feel your 100, all day intact. Even your intake, door fuel pump. As mentioned in the previous video, we've got the Goodyear Super Sports on the back. Um, load the tire pressures down to 27 psi, see if it helps with the launch. Let's hope our exhaust tips stay on today. That's the main goal, and maybe run 11 pretty familiar sound that I need some exhaust tips like that as well got turbo brick too Volvo Tesla as well now the other thing I noticed before is this galaxy here has an R32 badge on the front so either that's a VR6 turbo galaxy it doesn't make much noise you can tell I'm taking things seriously now guys I bought a helmet Sparkle one. It's even got the sticker still on it. I think you just take it off. Go for some, you know, old stick vibes. Yeah, it's just a basic one. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, you need a helmet to protect your head, of course. This car does trap over 110. That's when you need a helmet at Santa Pod. I'm hoping this thing does around 100, well, a high 120s for it to be in line with the power and the 100 to 200 times. I haven't really got a confirmed one yet. I've been doing a few test ones, but still think there's a bit more tweaking to be done on this car. You know, we'll peel this sticker off live on video. There we go. Fresh helmet. Right, so for a bit of banter, my friend's actually going to run his Land Cruiser Amazon down the strip. It's a V8 one. Just freshly imported from Japan. <laughs> We're going to have all the uh, Arabs from Dubai with their crazy 2J powered Land Cruisers calling us out after this, but... Right, so it looks like we're going to be up against some other B58s. They're quite loud, but I don't know what power they got. Yeah, we've got a 440i and we've got a 240i. So, we'll see what happens. of a stage i'm just gonna i'll put it back to dsa off we're gonna see what happened just gonna floor it So I've got the thing on the screen now, hopefully the draggy screenshot. A trap speed was 198 kilometers an hour. I'm sure we can do better. I did let off a bit as well, so. Yeah, we had in DSC off. I wasn't too sure how the car would behave, but it seemed to be fine, to be honest. Just need to stay in it a bit more. Maybe we can get 11.7 next run. Right, so we've just realized the exhaust tips blew off again. I don't know where it blew off, but yeah, 140i doesn't like having exhaust tips. I think we definitely need to sort that out. See what else is down here. Mark 5. TT 5D. TT RS. RS3. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Mars out bit of symmetry, innit? Feels like we're in America right now, man. Got pickup, got Camaro, Mustang, Challenger. All sorts. Another Mustang as well. This, be a, this is where you probably see most of the American cars in the UK, to be fair. There's an RS3 saloon over there. Surely you should be on the strip. That's where an RS3 belongs. And there's a mighty Land Cruiser. <laughs> it was good fun seeing that thing fly down the strip. Right, so second run. Nice weather. Has a start to rain, which is good. And a brake boost as well and Sport Plus, rather than DSC off and just floor it completely. Because I feathered it in the last one. I don't know if that was detrimental, but the car got off really well.
right, so trap speed 200 kilometers an hour and we do 11.92. Not quite what I'm hoping, but again, it's all guesswork right now. We'll try again, maybe try Sport Plus, but I might try launch control. Yeah, or we need to tweak this car a bit more. But so far, we're not getting close to anywhere near low 11 or even a mid 11 at this point, but first two runs I've ever done in this car, so can't expect too much. Right, so we're now back at home as you saw we managed to do three runs the final run was an 11.7 not great but then i'm not too fussed about core mile times because i can always improve my launch and 60 foot etc the main issue i had was the trap speed now that gives you a, a real indication of the car's power it only did 123 miles an hour on that final one and i think the best was the second run which was 124. for pure 800 car it should really be in the high 120s even on 99 run and this car as i said is in 494 wheel horsepower setting as it is there's no ethanol no meth but even then a 128 129 would have been ideal or make sense so as you can see there has been a change here i did pass the day over to imran and he's suggested going back to the stock airbox so as you know i had the even chewy intake we've taken that off um he basically said it's designed for the stock turbo so i should put this back on and see how it performs so what i did was i headed over to a private road um, i did a quarter mile time Again, it was around the high 11s. I'll put it on the screen now as well. But as you can see, the trap speed went up by about three miles an hour, so 127. So definitely heading in the right track. The car does need a few more tweaks. I'm gonna drop it after Evolve probably the end of this week um, and get it up there a bit more. I think we've definitely got about a 30, 40 wheel horsepower left on the table still, even on 99 run. Now, the core mile time is all well and good, but I know there's one draggy measurement that you all wanna know, and that's the 100 to 200 time. The best I've done on this thing is a 6.76. I have done a 6.68 but it had a slight spike in the GPS graph so I'm not going to sort of put that out there but I'll put them all on the screen anyway. The car is a consistent 6.7, 6.8 car and when it was on the even true intake it was actually a 7 second, 6.9 second car so putting the stock airbox on actually shaved a bit off the draggy 100 to 200 time. A bit strange I know but it is the case. We're still about 0 0.5 seconds away from where the car should be. The best I've seen on a 100 to 200 time on a pure 800 99 run no meth is a 6.3 so we're not miles off 6.7 we're nearly there i think with a few more tweaks we should be there as well but yeah i know some of you lot would be thinking okay a stage 2 plus car can do that but that's usually with ethanol e30 so if you replicate e30 and meth on this thing you'd be well into the fives so yeah there's that um next sort of plan for the car is to get the ethanol sensor fitted i've ordered it it's on the way from pure turbos fit that maybe play around with some meth i'm probably going to do the ethanol map first and yeah continue to push the car we've got a lot on the table right now this is probably the most under stress setup you can do but yeah folks make sure you are subscribed for all that stuff i know there's been a lot of rambling in this video but it's all about the data uh, we're going to bring more data going forward try and be as transparent as i can but yeah back on stock here box yeah more tune to be done but i'll see you in the next video as it starts raining